and the greatest. What is up, guys? Marcellus Williams, aka the Swole Professor, here to educate you on health, fitness, social well-being. Today, guys, we're going to be discussing exercise selection as well as specificity of training, what that principle is and what it really means. While doing so, have clips from today's workout up on screen for you all. It was just a typical power day. The only thing that was a little bit different was um, my friend Dow joined me. Instead of barbell lunges, we ended up doing dumbbell lunges, and we excluded lat pull downs just because I did quite a bit of back accessory work yesterday with my deadlifts. Everything else is pretty much the same as far as the compounds that you're gonna be seeing. Anyway, getting into today's topic. So, the question that I've been getting a lot, guys, is does exercise selection matter? Does it matter if I do flat dumbbell press versus barbell bench press? Does it matter if I do squats versus leg press, weighted pull-ups versus lat pull-down? Is there really a difference in the grand scheme of things at the end of the day? And the answer, simply put, guys, is yes, exercise selection does matter, and it's because of the principle of specificity, which simply states that in order to get better at an exercise or skill, you have to practice that specific exercise or skill, which makes sense, right? If you want to get better at running, you need to be running. If you want to get better at swimming, you need to be swimming. Now, beyond that, there's specific training, then there's specific plus variable training, which basically means other than just working on the skill itself, you work on accessory things that will help that skill or variations of that skill. But that's a topic for another time, focusing more specifically on just the exercise selection and how it goes in with specificity of training. It's as simple as this, guys. If you're a power lifter, then you're going to need to work on bench squat and deadlift. Why? Because those are the specific lifts that are going to be involved in your sport. So yes, in that sense, exercise selection matters. If you're an athlete, let's say you're a football player and you're trying to figure out should I leg press or squat? Well, which of those is going to be more specific to your sport? Have better carryover? Obviously the squat. Why? One, it's a full body movement, just like football. You're going to be using your full body. It's also a calisthenic movement, technically. A lot of people don't think of squats as calisthenics, but it is. You're moving your body through space, just like you do with a pull over a dip. So that's going to have better carryover for functional strength and training that you'll need for football. Furthermore, it's a very powerful explosive exercise, right? It involves both speed and power, two very useful things for um, football players or really most athletes in general. So in that case, yes, exercise selection matters. Now, what people really get caught up on is wondering, what about for hypertrophy? Does which exercises I pick matter in terms of hypertrophy? And the answer with that guy still is yes for two reasons. When it comes to muscular growth, you want to do something that's going to give you the most bang for your buck, right? So let's say you had to choose between either doing um, weighted chin-ups or a bicep curl. You can only do one or the other. You're going to want to go with the weighted chin-ups. Why? It's going to give you the most bang for your buck in terms of hypertrophy as a whole. Obviously, with the weighted chin-up, you're going to be working your back muscles, your traps, your lats, all the stabilizers within your back, along with getting some upper pec development and even some tricep and shoulder development as well. All of these muscles are worked in the pull-up and the chin-up, and I'll go over that more when I do the pull-up um, tutorial tomorrow. But in terms of the bicep curl, all we're getting is the bicep. So you can think of it in terms of things like that. Same thing if we compare two movements that are more similar. Let's say the flat dumbbell press and then the barbell press, which movement you want to use. Well, if you're somebody who knows that you're dealing with maybe imbalances, maybe you would go with the dumbbell press, but let's say you're not. Let's say that you have no issues as far as muscle imbalances. Which would you pick? Well, in order to put the greatest load on my muscles, I want to be able to load the heaviest weight for the most amount of reps. I'm going to be able to do that more so with barbell bench press than dumbbell. So that's something to think about as well. Whereas with dumbbell bench press, maybe I can get a fuller range of motion. So it just depends. Whereas with maybe incline dumbbell versus incline barbell, I may lean towards the incline dumbbell for the mere fact that I can get a deeper stretch on my pecs, which gives me a better contraction at the top. So if I'm worried about upper pec development, that's something to consider. And then guys, some, the last thing you want to consider when it comes to exercise selection is movement patterns. Basically, you don't want to be repetitive. If you're someone where you just did standing overhead press with a barbell, there's no need to do dumbbell shoulder press in that same workout. If you did enough volume and work on that standing overhead press. So you think about that too, guys. Like rather than coming in and doing flat bench press, flat dumbbell press, and then a horizontal hammer strength machine, maybe come in and do flat bench press, then incline dumbbell, then weighted dips, then some type of direct shoulder press. Why? Because those are all different movement patterns. So that's the thing you have to keep in mind and think about, guys, at the end of the day is why is it that you're doing certain movements? Like that's the thing you have to ask yourself. Why am I doing this movement? 
and how does it fit into my goal as far as exercise selection it's really as simple as that guys so it's not a matter of this exercise is better than this exercise it's simply a matter of asking myself okay what am i doing and why am i doing it so just keep that in mind whenever you're considering which exercises you're involving in your programming and always keep in mind what's going to give me the most bang for my buck obviously when we're talking about strength and power those big compound movements are going to be a little bit better but when we're talking about accessory work it may vary based off if i do hey should i do um a dumbbell hammer curl or should i do a strict barbell curl you're always going to have different options as far as things like that do you need more peak work or do you need to work more on the outer head that bicep so when you ask those questions guys it makes it a lot easier that's pretty much it for this video Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you did. If you did not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can do to get better. Like the video, share, subscribe, keep it simple, specific, scientific, and I'll catch y'all later. I am the greatest. Come on, look power. Come on, look power.